The announcement today is about uh, the South Australian Government putting South Australian jobs first. Our policies are all about promoting local products, local material and local labour in government contracts or on government projects. Today we're enshrining that commitment in law. The Industry Advocate Bill will elevate our state's local jobs plan and the local industry watchdog, Ian Nightingale, to a statutory position. We're also giving him stronger powers to ensure that government contracts and projects employ more South Australian workers and use more South Australian materials. Since we created uh, this position uh, for Ian Nightingale, it's been one of the great success stories of promoting local industry here in South Australia. I'm very grateful for uh, Ian's work uh, and now we want to enshrine it in law. It is important that it is enshrined in law uh, because this is uh, a matter of some contest. We know in the lead, lead up to the last state election, uh, the Liberal Party proposed the abolition of the industry advocate position. So it is crucial that this be enshrined in law so that it has an ongoing role. It's deeply concerning uh, what appears to be emerging at uh, uh, the Commonwealth Government level. There seems to be a, a lack of commitment uh, by the Federal Government to the future of the Wireless Steelworks. Uh, the South Australian Government has put its commitment on the table, $50 million to secure the future of these steelworks. Uh, our understanding is that there are two serious viable proposals which are not just about saving the steelworks but to give it a long-term sustainable future. So it is disturbing to see the speculation by the Treasury Secretary that he sees uh, essentially a smaller and um, less beneficial outcome for Whaler in the future. Um, we want to see a full-throated defence of these jobs at Whaler. We want to see a federal government that is active in the negotiations. We don't want a willing Commonwealth partner to protect jobs at Whaler Steelworks. This is uh, a national steel industry. Every self-respecting nation needs the capacity to create structural steel. So this isn't just a South Australian issue, it is a national issue. That's why the Commonwealth has a relevant interest here. As important as it is to save Wyala and uh, the jobs associated with the steelworks for South Australia, there is also a national imperative to maintain a structural steel industry. That's what our local procurement policies are directed to. That's what the Industry Advocate Bill will assist us in pursuing, but we need a willing Commonwealth partner if we're to secure the future of the Wireless Steelworks. Investment in infrastructure from the State Government at the moment. There's one and a half billion dollars every year uh, for the next four years in the budget going to infrastructure. And we have an expectation, and the people of South Australia have an expectation, that as many of those jobs and as many of those contracts as possible go to South Australians. And that's why we brought in the industry participation advocate four years ago. And since then, it's had a dramatic difference in improving the percentage of those jobs and those um, contracts that are going to South Australians. We're now taking the next step today, and we're going to introduce into Parliament this week laws to make that position permanent and to also increase the powers of that position in terms of the information that it can ask from people and the actions that it can take um, to make sure that people are delivering on the commitments uh, that they've made. Uh, we've made 15% of all of our government contracts for significant infrastructure projects um, up to what the local component is. And we've got a, we think, the most sophisticated way of, in Australia of looking at where are the local jobs going for, from and what capital and equipment are being used in those contracts. Um, and then Ian has a, um, plays an important role in making sure that um, we properly assess that and then we properly monitor that um, to make sure that that's actually being delivered. Well, this is going to give additional powers to make sure that, that can happen. It also gives industry certainty that this position is going to be around for a long time. Sadly, we know that um, the Liberal Party have previously said that they would abolish this position. We think that's a significant mistake. We hope that they change their position. Uh, but we want to make sure that this is legislated so it can't easily be got rid of in the future that is around for a long time to come. Uh, there's a couple of other important things to note. Uh, this also highlights steel in this bill as one of the very important um, industries that needs particular attention from government. Um, and that's why we have our own steel procurement policy that ensures Australian standards uh, for steel, and that's making a big difference. Um, and the second thing is that as more and more local councils develop their own local industry participation plans, 
then the industry advocate will be able to monitor them and ensure that they're being delivered as promised as well. So we're hoping this will make a big difference in terms of making this position permanent, making uh, the position have more powers and securing more jobs for South Australia. Well, as the Premier said earlier, the Northern Connector has been uh, one of the projects where we have uh, brought this policy uh, to the fore and made sure that uh, South Australians and the South Australian economy has reaped the greatest benefit. Uh, so far on the Northern Connector project, 97% uh, of all of the hours being worked on the job uh, are being done by South Australians. Uh, and over half of those people are from the northern suburbs. Uh, and this is why investing in infrastructure projects uh, is so important. It's not just for local jobs, it's also for local businesses uh, as well. And you heard the Premier introduce uh, Brandon before. His company, Fluoro Cranes, has literally been doing the heavy lifting on our major projects, uh, lifting these uh, massive bridge sections, beam sections into place uh, to build the structures which are going to carry tens of thousands of motorists and trucks uh, into the future. We'll be uh, giving you all some drone footage of the current status of the Northern Connector Works, particularly uh, at the Southern Interchange uh, at the Port River Expressway, which will show the scale of the work, uh, the number of trucks, the number of workers that are on site uh, at the moment, and it's extraordinary. And one of the other benefits that uh, Ian Nightingale has been delivering uh, in his role is gearing up South Australian companies to be able to better bid for and win state government contracts whether it's on these projects uh, in the transport area uh, or whether it's uh, with the South Australian Housing Trust and the 1,000 Homes in a 1,000 Days program, we've gone from uh, about 12 or 15 regular South Australian builders building homes for the Housing Trust uh, to over 70 uh, in the last 18 months. And that's all because Ian has met with and sat down with all of these bidders and helped them gear up to win these government projects. Uh, so it's delivering huge jobs uh, for the South Australian economy.